mother. Yo, what's up guys? What's happening? It's your boy. And welcome to another episode of Scary Fridays, episode 13. Here is our lineup today. MJV Animations, I think. Sir Spooks. And Social House Films. I, I really I really know how much to say this week. Yeah, I'm out. Let's just get to these videos. This one is called Scary Winter Horror Story by MJV Animations. Let's go. When I was 15, I'm female. My mom, older sister, younger brother, myself, and our dog, Betty, all lived in a rural area. To give you an idea of how rural, the local school had a roll of 12 kids from a surrounding 150 kilometer radius. It's a long story how we ended up living out there, and thankfully we weren't staying there for long. Not far from us was the turnoff to a long, dead-end road into the hills. At the end of the road was the regional base for a notorious gang, who held a lot of power in the area. We had been told by locals that they never had any trouble with them, because they didn't shit in their own backyard. The night it happened, it was dark and it was snowing. I had changed for bed with my lights on and curtains open, never imagining that there would be anyone around to see me. I switched off the light, got into bed, and then it started. Hold up, I know it's getting to a good part, but let me stop it right there. You can never assume you're not gonna be watched from the outside. Like you just can't. Like me, I'm paranoid. I had to close these blinds, even though this is like, oh shit. Even though it's to the backyard, I still close it. Like I'm just paranoid. Yeah, you can't assume you're not gonna be watched. That's why I always close everything. I lock all my car door. Oh, I lock, I lock my doors, the house doors. My car doors, close the blinds, everything. That's just me. Slow, deep, raspy breathe in. A pause. Then a deep, slow, raspy breath out. I froze. Then little tap noises and more breathing. I thought it was coming from my bedroom cupboard and was completely paralyzed with fear. Betty started barking and growling from the lounge room. And at that point, I screamed. Mom came running in, and I told her about the noises. She told me I was being ridiculous, and that there was probably a possum outside. And that they made all kinds of strange noises. She said she would take Betty out and scare it away. And two things to know before the next part. First, Betty was a very gentle, medium-sized dog, who was about as terrifying as her name. She barely barked, and before that night, I had never heard her growl. Secondly, my mom never swears, and normally finds it incredibly offensive. So, I heard her put Betty on the lead and open the back door. And then I heard simultaneously Betty making the most aggressive noises I've ever heard from an animal, and my mom screaming, Who the fuck are you? There was a scuffle, and then a loud slam. Okay. I ran into the corridor and could see my mom pale and terrified. Betty, with her teeth bared, snarling, and trying to get to a man on the other side of the glass door. A huge man, covered in blood, Damn. with a disfigured face and a look in his eyes that was just... I'm trying to think of the right word. Evil is close. I guess you could say that it was just obvious that he meant us all harm. He started lunging against the door, even though Betty was making it pretty damn clear he would have to get through her to get to us. I started screaming to call the police, which was ridiculous given our location. For real. Mom passed Betty's lead to my sister and ran for the phone screaming out, I'm calling Jack. I'm calling Jack. Jack was the nearest farmer to us. Suddenly, the man turned around and loped off. Jack turned up an hour later. He had come across the man who was clearly on some sort of drugs. In retrospect, I'm guessing meth. 
He crashed his car into the ditch by the turnoff. Because the guy was apparently affiliated with the gang and Jack valued his life, he had to help the guy get his car out and send him on his merry way. We moved in with friends the next day and left the area within weeks. There are so many fortunate things about that night. Firstly, Betty for sure saved our lives. Mom is a small lady, and if Betty hadn't reacted the way she did, he would have gotten into our house right away. Secondly, he didn't he? keep trying to get in. There was a flimsy door, and I know dog attacks are nothing to snip at, but the guy was bloody ginormous and probably in a drug-induced psychosis. So I don't like to think about what could have happened if he got in. Th he did get in though, right? Didn't it show the, one of the girls pushing him out? He, he either wasn't armed or somehow didn't think to use a weapon. Finally, if he had gone back to his car to get one, Jack had found him first. Next video. NEXT! Okay, this one is five scary videos you've never seen. I haven't seen a lot of them, but let's just hope they're scary. Oh, it's by Sir Spooks, if you couldn't tell by now. Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary ghost videos you've never seen. All of these have almost no views on YouTube, which makes them quite interesting. So, mm -hmm. let's begin. Yeah, if they don't have any views, it's probably because they're trash. Uh, or... Yeah, that didn't make sense. No. This clip from the YouTube channel Pure Paranormal may be very short in nature, clocking in at a mere 20 seconds in total. Hey. <laughs> That she got more views than any of my videos. They should put my videos on here. I mean, they're not scary, but, you know. Videos you've never seen on YouTube. I should be on that list. That's more than enough time to give you the creeps. I guess. It's fascinating that the video only has a little over 1,700 views, considering how genuinely creepy and off-putting it is. In the video, we follow some paranormal investigators as they walk around an eerie abandoned house that has all the lights on. Like me? Two like investigators you? make a little bit of small talk for a while, but something happens when the man filming walks into the basement of the house. Watch and listen to this. I we got chairs in here. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2 or whatever, do a EVP session. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2. We got chairs in here. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2 or whatever, do a EVP session. We got chairs in here. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2 or whatever, do a EVP session. I did not hear that. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2. We got chairs in here. Yeah, we can get comfy and do a K2 or whatever, do a EVP session. The strange voice that you just heard sounds as though it belongs to that of a ghostly child that is potentially lurking around in the basement. Considering the fact that none of the investigators reacted to this voice, it's safe to assume that they just didn't hear it at the time. If there's an actual child lurking in the basement, that little fucker got more balls than me because you wouldn't catch me doing that shit. But they were definitely in for a terrifying surprise when they got back and reviewed the footage later on. Yeah, we can get selfie and do a K2 or whatever, do a EVP session. A YouTube channel, no. Anonymous One uploaded a video to that channel on September 19th, 2020, that showcases something very bizarre and downright creepy happening within their home. The video starts off with a view of what appears to be the homeowner's living room area which is being filmed via a security camera. Sometimes in videos like these, you'll see something like a plate being thrown across the room or cabinet opening by itself, but not this one. In fact, this is one video where you genuinely cannot miss what you're supposed to be looking at. Watch this. Um. 
I have honestly never seen anything like this on any sort of paranormal video, and it's quite baffling as to what exactly happened. Surely the uploader has no idea as well, seeing as how we uploaded it online for all to see. It's just a shame that the video only has little over 5,200 views, because the more opinions we have from the public, the better chance we have at getting an answer. Mm -hmm. If you think you know what happened in this footage, be sure to leave your ideas in the comments below. It does look like smoke, but And that... speaking of unknown entities lurking in the shadows, have you ever wondered if someone somewhere might be able to see your online activity? That's entirely reasonable considering the forces arrayed against your privacy. With a virtual private network, VPN, you can protect your Next. information. That could have been anything, honestly. I don't want to say hands, because the hands wouldn't be able to make that cloudy figure. I don't know. Hard to believe that one. The Ancient Ram Inn is a historical landmark located in Watson Under Edge, England. The building is supposed to be a fun and exciting place to go out with your friends and loved ones. But I instead, that a bed. it unfortunately has a reputation for being one of the creepiest inns you can visit. Despite the fact that the inn is still open to this day, it doesn't mean that there aren't any potential spirits roaming the halls of the place. As evidenced by this video uploaded to YouTube by a man named Chris Howley, who says that the footage was recorded back in 2006. I saw that. Take a look at the camera bag on the ground near the lower left corner of the screen. Oh, the way it was seemingly pulled upward looks very weird and so unnatural. It was being held. Much like the previous entries on this list. And then it's a shame like, that the video doesn't even have 500 views. Because still to this day, it seems as though nobody can provide a good answer as to what exactly happened in this video. A baby crib is supposed to be a safe and comfortable place for your newborn child to sleep in. I don't like scary videos that have to do with newborns or like babies that are still in cribs. I mean, I don't know, it's just weird to me. I don't like seeing those, these types. I hope it's not really disturbing. For whatever reason, it seems as though baby cribs are often targeted by the paranormal. For real? And it looks as though this exact thing happened to a man named Blake Reed who uploaded the following video to his YouTube channel in 2020, with a little over 500 views. What at first looks like an ordinary video focusing on a standard everyday baby crib, quickly turns into something quite frightening in a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah. Skeptics will surely have a hard time explaining this footage. And then the orb floated away. All right, it's not disturbing. Could this large and heavy object be moved by a simple, barely visible string? According to the uploader, this was not in any way faked by him. So what do you think could have happened that night? Is this paranormal spirit lurking within his house? Is this all just a big hoax? Let me know in the comments. By now, it's definitely no secret that the Waverly Hill Sanatorium is by far one of the creepiest and most haunted places in the world was that the paranormal investigators love to go to in the hopes of getting evidence on camera it seems as though a youtube channel called western pennsylvania paranormal hunters had the same sort of idea 
is as seen throughout this video uploaded to their channel in 2014 with a little over 130 views. In the video, we can hear one of the channel was talking out loud, potentially trying to make contact with one of the spirits nearby. But he doesn't have to wait too long, because something happens in the windows that he didn't see. But you should be able to make it out if you look hard enough. The channel owners say that they are just as confused and creeped out as we all are, and are asking for any ideas as to what this strange apparition could possibly be. Is it a ghost roaming in the halls of the building? A person? The chances of it being a ghost are quite high, seeing as how the Waverly Hill Sanatorium is notorious for being haunted by spirits. And that was five scary ghost videos you've never seen. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Alright, next video. NEXT! Okay, I'm sorry, I keep the, tr the backyard stripping me out. Alright, damn. Look how it's starting off. <laughs> this next video is called The Mannequin and it is from Social House Films. Just by that, it's just pretty creepy. Ow. It's me. Um, I just got home and your door was open, so I saw that you have all these like sheets and things around your furniture, and of course I saw that tall thing in your room. Um, do you have anything that you want to tell me? Hold up, yeah, I want to tell you something. If that if that's freaking you out, then it's freaking me out. It's Like I was saying, if that creeps you out, why would you leave the door cracked again? Just close it all the way. I, I, I was expecting her to do that. Just keep in mind that if you're moving out, you need to give me 30 days notice. Give me a call back. Okay. Okay, so. Alright, bye. The person she's calling is her tenant. And she's moving. Okay.
sorry. You're too creepy to stay inside tonight. Mother, I was expecting it. Hey, yo. This bad actor should be putting in work. She's in all their videos. All right, you, you gotta give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was pretty creepy. But like I said, I feel the first time when she noticed it, she opened a door and she was gonna close it, but she left it like. She left the crack open, you know, so you still... Why would you do that? I mean, yeah, I know it's acting, but... I guess that's the entertainment. <laughs> hey, I like I like these films. The social house films, they're like... How do I say it? <laughs> they're not like over... Like, they don't show killings. At least I don't think so. Like other videos. Like I don't know if you guys saw like two weeks ago I posted um that video from Classic Distractions, you know how the the video with the delivery guy, they shoot him with the arrow, he's bleeding out. They don't really show that type of stuff on here. But it's still scary though. It's just like the the editings, like the mannequins and the like the one um they previewed there, the top man, the top man. Pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys like this episode of Scary Fridays, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys either next week or gameplay. Whatever you watch, I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>